Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to It is the Raw Wrap-Up. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on Twitter here in the um, Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. And it is another Raw Wrap-Up. We're so glad you guys can join us here. If you are live, you're with us on the Facebook page. Uh, just moments, minutes, uh, maybe tens of minutes, uh, depending on how quick we got set up this week uh, after Monday Night Raw on the USA Network. And uh, we are in the lead-in to Money in the Bank, of course. Oh, I'm losing my voice already. Wow. Oh. It's the beginning of podcast week, and it's already done that. Damn that that river talk that was on last night from the studio. But with me, uh, Mike Sorg, of course, that's Sorgish on the Twitter. But I got, I got a, I got a friend that debuted last week. Mad Mike is is living it up in New York City, doing something tonight. Uh, but I'm sure he's got a good reason for not being a part of this. Well, we got Dave Potter returning once again. Thank you so much for coming back. Hey Zorg, no problem. I'm glad I didn't break it last week. Good, good. Although <laughs> I did notice you really ghosted when I came into your office the next day. I looked in your yeah. cubicle twice and couldn't find you. I know, I know. I, I actually had someone say, hey, uh, there was a guy looking in your cubicle just a few <laughs> minutes ago when you stepped away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's the... You, and then we do the podcast, and I got to bust out, you know. So mm. even Hooven found me up there. So, <laughs> um, But anyways, uh, thanks for joining us. And, and of course, it was a – now, I got a confession. I missed the first half hour of Raw. Uh, I, I came in um, during the women's four-way uh, because I had a okay. meeting up the street. Uh, but I did see, thanks to the glory of Twitter, the amazing that happened. We got the new. We've been talking about this on the show for a while. I I don't know how much is on the show and how much is just when we're watching Corbin, like watching Raw or watching pay per views. But the bald look has happened. I guess yes. this is a requirement for an authority figure on Monday Night Raw with Kurt Angle, right? We got a match. We got a match. We got we a match. match. We got a you match. Like, it's really. Yeah. Is it really just Corbin is looking up to um the shorter Kurt Angle? <laughs> you think? Uh, or it's either that or they finally list to Austin on his podcast where every time they talk about Corbin, he says, well, you know, when I was losing my hair, I just shaved it. I think it's time to shave his head. Maybe they finally listen to him. It looks He looks better bald. He does. He looks he, better bald. He it's does. A improvement. The head, the, the head works for him. Of course, he's doing the suit thing right now. Uh, mm-hmm. He's dressing up for this. Um, but, you know, I, in the meantime, I think it was a good move. And, and when I think we, we, we knew it was coming, right? Um, oh, yeah. I, there was a video. I don't know if you saw on the Wrestling Mayhem Show group on Facebook. Uh, I posted the video from their YouTube. And I think it's on the Facebook, too, um, uh, uh, of his hair getting cut. And, of no. course, yeah, I think they're were, they were looking to donate it, maybe. And uh, he's like, well, one last thing for everybody to complain about on the Internet. <laughs> so, <laughs> but I, I saw that. I saw a whole bunch of people saying, oh, it's horrible how he's bald. I'm like, okay, one, one way or the other people. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, yeah, yes, the the stringy, kind of greasy, nasty-looking hair, that was not a good look. The bald look, is a, he's a big, nasty man with the bald head. That's great. Just gonna own Wonderful. It up. Just gonna... I mean, apparently, I was, apparently, it's hair week in WWE as they were pushing the uh, Stephanie undercover boss thing, and they made a big deal of, oh, she has a blonde wig on, so no one will know who it's Stephanie McMahon. You know, speaking of, we had a related hair conversation because we were talking about Christopher Daniels uh, on the way back from, I think, IWC this past weekend. And and the fact that he w- w- was so amazed, I think Chad the Shadow was making this point. He's so amazed about how old he is and looking back to, like, you know, we're talking about, like, that super indie history and he was a part of, like, the, you know, you know 15 years ago was a part of it and how it doesn't really look like he's aged a bit. And really, I think it's because he made the bald decision early, right? So, okay, yeah. so there's nothing visually as much to age him in as much as we've known him, right? In 15 okay, years. Yeah. And like you said, it, it, when you, cause I, I mean, I even look back at pictures of me from like eight years ago, we're not talking, you know, decades <laughs> and decades. And I'm like, yeah, my hair was a whole lot darker and there was a lot much more of it back then. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I'm fortunate so, that Google Google Mall, it's a good thing. I'm fortunate that aside from the hair go, the hair uh, changing the color, uh, I, I looked worse five years ago. I'm pretty, I'm pretty <laughs> certain. So, um, you, you can title that time last video of this podcast to prove that. Uh, but anyway, you know, the other thing, you know, and I know this really technically kind of came out like next last week, but seeing them actually doing a promo and in the same space, the IRS Rotunda boys are gonna fight you guys. <laughs> It just dawned on uh, me that this is happening, that we've yes. kind of called for for how many years now. Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt uh, are, are going to be in a tag match. Um, and and great. I can't wait to see what happens with this. Yeah, I mean, to me, that's one part of the show. I missed that part. Mm-hmm. I, I saw the match, um, the other tag match they had on, um, the Drew and... Um, D and D? You mean D and D? Yeah, D and D. Yes, yes, the D and D team. Yes, the D and D team uh, being a poor uh, Breezango. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, that that goes to show, like a little bit of like I there was the big the big thing I noticed tonight was how people have been boiled down and how certain gimmicks get looked at on Raw versus the other show. You have No Way Jose, who is Adam Rose Light and gets in, you know, in a feud with Kurt Hawkins. That's what they think of him, right? Um, you know, Brizango is going to do nothing significant. They're just a punchline. And not like the punchline that we were all actually laughing along with on SmackDown for the last year, right? Right, uh, right. It, it, it's just, it's, it's where good stuff goes to be on the bigger show but die, you know? Right, right. Same thing. And I mean, Bobby Roode didn't do much on SmackDown compared to NXT, but even that has kind of went completely downhill Mm -hmm. where he's not even an entrance anymore. At least you could say at one time, Bobby Roode was an entrance, a good match, and that's it. Now Bobby Roode is him yelling glorious before trying to do a DDT. Yeah. And, again, these guys are on TV. That's great. That's wonderful. I'm happy for them, especially the older guys who – the older guys are still younger than me, but the older guys, I'm happy for them, but it's kind of – I want a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Now, the the very beginning where you had everyone, the four women and four men, on ladders already – um, oh, the they, very first they part started you, the show that they way. They started the match with everyone on ladders. Oh, wow. The one thing that you that I noticed was Ember Moon did not look really happy being up on that ladder. Mm-hmm. And they, they started the show, and she was up there, and she was still kind of adjusting, um, kind of feeling out. The, the ladder felt a little – it was almost like someone who's not 100% used to being on a ladder, where she was still feeling everything out. Kevin was fine. Braun was already up there and fine. So we didn't get the image of Braun actually trying to climb a ladder. <laughs> so so maybe that's the big that's the big hold off since they've already had a whole bunch of stuff happen that's gonna happen again on the pay-per-view. So mm-hmm. maybe the big, you know, the big thing to come out of it is hey, look, Braun actually can climb a ladder. And 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 I think you know, again, I, I've I've been talking a lot of people about uh, with Impact Wrestling and everything, <laughs> and I know people want to talk about Lucha Underground, but that's what's Wednesday, guys. <laughs> um, and hopefully, we're working on hopefully something big for that as well. Uh, it depends on Big Brother scheduling, apparently. But anyways, um, but uh, 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 y- you know, going into Raw, I'm setting my expectations for shows. I watched Dominion last night. I watched an incredible, like, I can't get it out of my head. I'm comparing every match to what I saw on Saturday night at IWC <laughs> Super Indie, right? And, right. Um, you know, I, I I need to just, like, not say, well, I'm going to go watch the shitty show now when I go watch <laughs> Raw, right? I'm going to watch Raw. For all <sighs> the better and the worse that it is, this is what wrestling is on Monday nights. This is what wrestling is at three in the morning on Saturday morning, <laughs> with right. New Japan. Right. This is what wrestling is like in Pittsburgh uh, on a Saturday night. You know, uh, you know, it it it's the different flavors of it, and 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 I'm kind of accepting it for what that is, and 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 it is what it is. Um, and I think we got you knew you were going to get. Hey, everybody's going to you know interact tonight, and you're going to have these matches set up for this weekend. Um, and I think uh, that there were a lot of good matches out of that. 
Yeah, yeah, and I, honestly, the show, n there was nothing that, even nothing that really was cringeworthy. Mm-hmm. Um, there were parts ah. that went. I, there were parts <laughs> that went slow. Yes. But in terms of, well, I'm, 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 of course, you know, like you said, setting the bar. Um, you there mean was nothing. The bar. The bar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, there was nothing that made me say, "Oh yeah, that was just as bad as when B Lashley Sisters came out." <laughs> so oh, so we, didn't, we, we have the bar. At the, yeah, we, we have, have the bar on the yeah, floor. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So nothing was. I mean, the, again, the it's our new. It's, it's, it's like our new, our updated Katie Vick. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> I say now, now you were saying now there were parts that you really were. What was it? The was it the Ronda Rousey Nia Jax interview um, that was just I, not great? Or I am was very it... thankful that um our 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 fellow community member came into the studio at that point and we were having a discussion <laughs> about neighborhoods in Pittsburgh and and I looked over and I saw it was like Rousey and Coach. And Naya, while I'm, I was partially interested to see how this would go, was like, I can live without this. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that was okay, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, it, like something like that. But I am – and then this is where I go into, but this is what Raw is. The fact that we built an entire mini Ninja Warrior set around the <laughs> ring – for a segment on Monday Night Raw in, st in front of like 12,000 people. Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, uh, maybe they're getting a front for all that Fox money. <laughs> that might be it. But I just, you yeah, know. I, because that, like you said, not only the, the, the set itself, but the time and effort to set it up for, okay, we knew Bobby Lashley was an incredible athlete. Mm -hmm. We knew that. Well, That's great. You have to remind everybody, right? Because we haven't seen him do much. It's been so many years, and like, hey, this guy was in the army. But what a long setup and a and yeah. a physical setup, and and extra stage hands probably to do this thing, um, just for a sneak attack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I mean, it wasn't just. I know it's not just a sneak attack. We got him showing off and stuff. I think Labar said, you know, was like uh, 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 on Twitter saying, well, we got to show off how physically impressive uh, Bobby Lashley is. At least it wasn't the sisters, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything ends with that, um, which. But it was kind of impressive how much they did it, and it wasn't as bad as the old NXT game show segments. Uh, true, true, but uh, I didn't think they. Hopefully, they weren't going to make sure he didn't trip over his own feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, like I said, it was impressive, and I'm very glad that they didn't have Sammy try to run it. Yeah. Because a you want to sell the hand injury, you know. B the idea is I know the idea is to make you know Lashley look incredibly physically impressive, and he is incredibly physically impressive. I would like to see him go, you know, have him in a match against. I don't know. You know what? Have Sammy come out and say, oh, yeah, you know, I still don't believe that you were in the army. So I have this guy who was else who was in, you know, who was a Marine or, you know, who was, you know, special ops that I'm pulling in and bringing in a local indie guy and have Lashley dominate him. And then at the end, because then you get wrestling action on a wrestling show and then have Sammy jump him at the end. Mm -hmm. And you still get heel, despicable Sammy, smarmy ha Sammy, but you also get the physical of Lashley. Let, beat him in like a couple seconds because it's Lashley. But you know, like you said, it's when I saw the whole step, I'm like, okay, I I hate to say I know where it's going to end. It's going to be nice, but three hours. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what we boil it down to, too. Um Excellent. Uh, it, it was. It was. It was a. It was a raw. You know. It's the thing. I honestly. You know. It's, it, I'm back to that point. Um. You know how uh, Larry has been saying how well he's turned off. And by the way, update on Larry. He has. And I'm sure we'll talk about this a lot uh, tomorrow night uh, because I think New Japan is going to be on the docket with a special guest that we haven't really announced yet, uh, unless you listen to River Talk on the River's Edge last night and this morning on podcast. Uh. But uh. Y y uh 
much like he has been turning to New Japan Pro Wrestling on Access, and like I said, uh, update, he has canceled his WWE Network and signed up for New Japan World last Ooh. night, So and we sat here and watched Dominion. Um, I watched the Elite, <laughs> being the Elite, because I, I heard I, I heard that it, it, it uh, kind of closed some loops on some stuff that happened this weekend. Um, so that's my New Japan, because Ra, Ra isn't so interesting, and also I was kind of <laughs> setting up and trying to sync some stuff uh, for the RWA edit from this past weekend, so <laughs> mm-hmm. so that's my New Japan world. Apparently, I'm, I just kind of get shit done. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> it's a really good work work time for me. Uh, but anyways, and and, I, I, and even as it is, like the entire chat room is mostly talking about being the elite right now. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> that's the big story. But that's great. You know, the great thing is if you had a, a shit week of WWE programming, or Raw didn't do it for you. Like there's so many options, right? And uh, and, and we're gonna be uh, uh, obviously this week exploring some of those options with the Lucha Underground coming back, and and therefore our podcast coming back, uh, which we still haven't entirely settled on a new name because I didn't the other one is a problem. Uh, but <laughs> anyways, uh, but no. Uh, so the anything else from Raw that kind of stuck out from you? Uh, not really, to be honest. I mean, I like I said, I know it's a go home show, so I know there's all you know there's certain things they. You have to make sure no one gets injured right before the pay-per-view and everything else. But um, it, honestly, it was a it was a watchable Raw that set up a couple of things, but nothing else really that really stuck out that much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same here. Uh, how much of Raw do you think was watchable this week? <sighs> honestly, maybe an hour. Um, wow. The, well, the, the thing is, from... Right after the Rau- and even the Ronda Rousey Nia Jax thing was watchable ish again, you know expectations. But after th- from that until the beginning of the men's four way, those segments were completely unwatchable. Mm-hmm. I want to say unwatchable, but they were ignorable. So I'm thinking an hour. <laughs> well, the cat has some words too on that. Oh, yeah. there they go, there they go. We got them on camera <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> there they are. This there we is, go. This is the extra entertainment Mal, we get guys. when we get uh, <laughs> Dave on here. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> and, and Tina and and and, and I'm, I'm I'm sorry, Tina. Well, maybe maybe we're okay. Tina didn't watch Raw tonight. <laughs> she's just saying she uh, she's cringing at the idea of uh, uh, the army thing with Bobby Lashley. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it, it, Tina, it could have been worse. It probably could have. Uh-huh. Oh yeah, yeah, it could I, definitely been worse. I would love to, you know, your 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 opinion on that, uh, given your background. So, um, hey, kitties, your kitties are over in the chat room, by the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're not. They're they're way more interesting than uh, Bobby's cat. So, <laughs> all right, uh, I'm going about a flat two hours, and that's given that I didn't mm-hmm. even get a chance to watch a half an hour of it. Um, uh, the No Way Jose part and the um, Ronda Rousey Nia again. I didn't care that I was missing it, uh, so that that that's fine. But I, you know, aside from how Raw came out tonight, like looking down the card, um, I, I'm liking how Money in the Bank looks this weekend. Like I think I think between Saturday and Sunday, we're gonna have a great weekend of uh, WWE oh, yeah. res- you know, WWE uh, uh, programming uh, between Takeover and this. And then and realizing that I need we need to preview both of these shows tomorrow on on Mayhem Show. I, I have I already have a stacked lineup for that, so <laughs> that will be interesting. Uh, <laughs> but say this will be the first um, pay per view that is the new four hour format, right? The standard four hour oh, format. Oh, it, it probably Good because going forward. really Money in the Bank I feel does line up with in importance something like a Royal Rumble, so or yeah. a SummerSlam or something. Yeah. Oh, do I need to adjust the time then on uh, the event? (laughs) I don't think I did. I think I I set it for seven. And I was actually going to, since uh, I will be at uh, Rise Wrestling, Rise with a Y, our friend south of here at Pittsburgh. Um, uh, So I will not be able to watch TakeOver Live. So Mm. when that happens, I try to, and and I actually have a shoot kind of hanging out on Sunday too uh, that I'm waiting for a a confirmation on. Uh, uh, If... I try to do, uh, we watch NXT before the pay-per-view on weekends okay. like this. So keep an ear around, and we'll figure out times for that as that gets settled in. Uh, I'll just watch a Sunday morning brunch with NXT. Yeah, let's do that instead. <laughs> um, that's actually a good idea. <laughs> so, 
But anyways, uh, I, uh, from the chat, uh, Brandon is saying uh, uh, he watched E3 tonight instead. I think Alex Miller did as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. One hour of Lucha Sunday, uh, four hours of New uh, New Japan last night, um, and Raw was zero minutes <laughs> and zero seconds oh. to watch. <laughs> hey, it's a, hey. When your car is full, I squeeze. I know I squeezed in Impact today, and I squeezed in a New Japan on Access today. So I, I I I wonder if I just weigh that a little bit. It was a little bit from um, damn I can't remember what the show it was, but I know it was, I accidentally watched part two of the three first. So I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, Dave Potter, where can people find you online? Sure, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter as Prof Pod, and find me on the Tiny Shutter podcast uh, where we talk about iPhone photography and other things. Excellent. As I said, a sacked week this week. Uh, if you're in the area, mm-hmm. a lot going on here in studio. Uh, between uh, where we are watching, uh, all are invited down to the studio to watch the uh, Lucha Underground premiere Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll definitely probably watch the Twitter for that as well. We have a game board game night here on Thursday. Riz Plays Games is scheduled to join us uh, here in the studio Friday. And, of course, uh, join us here uh, down the road at Rise Wrestling, R-Y-S-E Wrestling uh, on the Facebook and get information on that show uh, down in Connellsville in Lamont Furnace, PA. And, uh, of course, uh, Sunday we will also have a watch party for Money in the Bank. Thank you, Dave Potter, for joining us. And, uh, of course, tune in tomorrow for the Wrestling Mayhem show. Jay Cooper and another special guest are uh, scheduled to join us uh, for that at 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live for Wrestling Mayhem show. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. Until next time, keep it raw.